Hello guys, it's time for another tutorial. Um, I've uh, been off for a couple of weeks, took a little beach trip and uh, now I'm back and uh, we have the 4th of July holidays ahead of us. So um, I want to do actually two videos demonstrating how to um, do a couple of different patriotic bows and today uh, our tutorial is going to be pretty simple. We are going to do a stacked uh, boutique bow like this and um, the second video is going to be one that um, you guys have requested. It's the funky loopy bow. I put a couple of uh, pictures on the Facebook page with the patriotic uh, loopy bow with the lights in it and all the fluff um, but it takes a little preparation for that so I hope to get that up this week or next week sometime you know it'll be a lot more involved but today's tutorial is pretty simple um, and like I said this is the one we're going to do today basically a stacked bow um, <clears throat> medium size in my opinion you know, this is kind of what it, the size looks like in the palm of my hand. Okay. Um, <clears throat> here is a smaller one. And tiny for a baby or you know, for a toddler or whatever. Okay. So that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to do the medium size one, actually. So uh, the supplies that you need, oh, scissors, glue, um your salon clip, um, you need needle and thread, uh, lighter, and then the size ribbons that we're working with. Um, let's see, I've got the one and a half inch uh, red stripes, and let's see, I've got my measurements here. I've got that cut to about a yard okay so about a yard 36 inches and the 7 8 and this is cute it says uh, 4th of July little firecracker I actually ordered this on Etsy there are so many Etsy shops um, that carry the 4th of July ribbon and I can't remember the name of the shop right off um, but I will leave the link if you want to check them out uh, they actually carry flowers and oh, some appliques like the little star in the middle of this bow. Um, yeah, they have a few different colors. Um, and they have the big stars that I used in the big funky loopy bow. So um, if you want to check them out, I'll leave the link. And then of course um, the striped ribbon the one and a half inch uh, width uh, striped ribbon it actually came from Walmart okay but you, know, you can order it from different websites as well um, and then I do have just wanted to show you um, these came from Walmart they're a dollar and um, they have a few other solid colors and um, you know whatever this is a 5 8 but anyway, and I'll give you the measurements for this small bow too um, in the descriptions if you want to make the smaller bow. Okay, uh, like I said, this is cut to a yard, and this uh, particular 7 8 is cut to 32 inches. Okay, so just a little bit shorter than the big one. Okay, and you'll need. Um, You'll need some 3 8 ribbon to wrap around the middle unless you are going to make a knot. If you're going to make a knot, then this is a 5 8 silver metallic. So you would just, you know, whatever your preference is. We are actually going to use a bottle cap for this one. Okay, so that's totally up to you. Um, <clears throat> just need to have some handy because... Uh, if you want to cover your clip or you know whatever around the middle and you may want an extra clip to help hold your your bow to crease and needle and thread I don't know if I said that already 
okay um, if you would like to use the wood burning tool um, to you know do your heat sealing you can do that as well I'm just going to use the lighter today all right, hope everybody's enjoying their summer so far. I know I am. Okay, so basically um, the bottom bow is just a, um, you know, the four loop boutique style bow. You could do the figure eight fold, um, you know, whichever you prefer. All right, so we're just gonna quickly, and I've made one of these bows in just about every tutorial um, so far except maybe the headband and the flip-flops so um, if you want to look back at some of my other videos I like my bottom loops to be a little bit bigger than my top loops oh and by the way I forgot to tell y'all um, I've already cut my edges to a slant and heat sealed them so uh, you may want to do that first all right so I've got my two bottom loops here my third loop I just tuck this in the back okay and then and take a look at it and I'm just going to readjust a little bit make this a little bit tighter There is no surefire method to making bows to where they turn out perfect the first time. It just, bow making is something that takes practice. Um, I know it seems logical for um, the methods to, to be foolproof, but they're not. I mean, this is, you know, bow making is just something that takes practice. Okay, and if you, um, you know hand crease yours you can do that or um, most of the time I like to use a salon clip this is a smaller one a uh, hair bow center is where this one came from I have this larger one here um, that I use for the bigger bows <clears throat> okay and then you know my my method I like to make sure that my loops are the same and this is how I measure that and I adjust then I get my needle and thread and I go through the back and just going through the top <clears throat> and around the back two or three times until you have a good circle around it <clears throat> You want to end up, I and I like to end up at the top right here, okay? And then basically, um, you just pull until you get that crease. All right? And you can take your, whoa, flipping everywhere. And I like this ribbon because it, it's double-sided. You may want to double up if the inside is white or whatever. All right, and I am satisfied with how it looks. So I'm gonna tie that off in the back. Okay. And clip that off. Uh, one thing that I did forget that we do need for this is a straight pin with a little ball on the end okay so and preferably a long one um, you know if you have that so you do need one of these for the uh, the smaller bow okay so here we have our bottom bow our base bow okay and we just want to set that to the side <clears throat> if you want to stiffen it with hairspray or stiffen quick or whatever you can do that or you can wait until um, you get the top bow done or, you know I think that if you spray them separately that would be a better idea and then put them together okay now 
this bow actually um, was a boo-boo. I made it by mistake. This is not something that I learned anywhere. Um, it actually came out wrong and ended up uh, being something I could use. And I uh, came up with this bow like seven years ago by mistake. And what was funny is I, you know, I liked it even though it was a mistake. And then I had to <laughs> remember how I made the mistake. Anyway, um, you just want to make sure, first of all, that you are going the right way. Okay, so, um, you know, if you have printed ribbon, you want to make sure it's not going to be upside down. Sometimes with you know, when you have printed ribbon, you got to make sure you're going the right way. Okay. And, you know, you want to kind of start at the end here. And your your words, you know, will, and I guess the best way to describe it is if, if you're, you're printing, you want your words or, you know, the right side up to go towards your fingers, I guess. Okay. And so you want to start somewhere about here. Maybe spread your fingers just a little bit. <clears throat> all depends on what size bow you're trying to make and you probably will have to readjust um, you know to, to get it the way you want it okay so basically you wanna you know your thumb you wanna hold this piece down you know we're gonna make it about this big for a medium sized bow and you're gonna wrap once <clears throat> Alright, then twice, and then the third time, and you'll have your tail come up. Okay, so just, just to show you again, okay, once, twice, three times. Okay, and you want this little tail to stay. You want the tail to be pointing up. Okay. Now, you're going to take it and fold it in half with the tail up. Okay, fold it. Fold it in half to get a crease with the tail up. Okay, not the other way, but this way. Okay. Now, turn it over to where you have your hump right here. Get your straight pin and then stick it right in the middle of that hump right there to the other side. All right, and I actually didn't go right through the middle. Let me put mine over just a little bit. Okay, so you have your straight pin right here and your, you know, your tail's right here. All right, then turn it up like this with your tail. Okay, and, and this is um, the, the folding or unfolding method where I actually messed up. Um, but, you know, it ended up being a pretty cute bow. And this is your little tail. So your tail is gonna go down or if you're, you know, describing in lefts and rights, you're going to go to the left with your tail, and this little loop should come out. Okay, so again, your tail's going to go to the left with that loop popping out. All right, the next layer is going to go to the right, and then with this going to the right, this bottom part should go to the left, and if it doesn't, you can ease it out. All right, so the tail to the left, next loop under that to the right. Okay, so that's what we have so far, and you know, I, I try to hold, you know, hold my pen like this. Okay, then this middle loop right here stays. All right, the middle loop stays, you don't do anything to it, it stays. Okay, and then the final loop is this last one underneath. You pull it to the left. Alright, it goes to the left. And when you pull it to the left, then that 
little tail that we started with should come up to the right okay so if you're again if you're starting with the tail it's left right middle left okay and this you know basically this is our bow and you want to get it in as big of an X as you can okay now if you mistakenly have both tails down here then you did it wrong okay you want this tail down here to the left and this one up here to the right okay and that's that's basically how it goes <clears throat> alright you want to hold on to it and like I said fan it out as much as you can in in an X <clears throat> and keep that pin hold that pin I used to um, teach hair bow classes to a group of ladies once a month um, oh, it was like for a company that did that kind of thing. They, they taught classes and sold sewing machines and that kind of stuff. And when the ladies would make this bow, a lot of times both their tails would end up down here. And that's how they knew they, they had done it incorrectly or whatever. Okay, then you want to get your salon clip and just, you know, go over that, that pin and put it in the middle like that. Now don't take your pin out yet. What you want to do is adjust, you know, kind of pull this tail up and pull this one down. Get your loops, like this one should be straight across, you know, um, perfectly horizontal. Okay, and then fan these out in an X. And then when you have it the way you want it, you know, you're satisfied then you can pull the pin out but you know make sure that the bow does not move at all until you have it creased in the middle okay so then you get your needle and thread and you do it just like we do all of them you go in through the back with your needle and thread and you go around a few times I've got my little fan blowing, so it's kind of making it hard to work. Okay, and then, of course, you just pull at the top. Take your salon clip off. Pull it real tight. <clears throat> and then tie it off in the back. And this is a uh, six loop bow. And like I said, I did it totally by mistake one day. And I created something new. All right, cut that off. And then you just adjust. And this is, you know, something like what you'll have. You may want to fluff up, fluff up the loops a little bit. Alright, and then the, na the last thing you want to do is get your scissors and cut your, your tails. Now this tail up here, there's really no reason for it to be showing, I mean, you know, in my opinion, so I just try to cut it down, you know, as short as I can. And then, of course, you want to heat seal both. Okay, and then this is... the little bow you have and you can certainly um, you know just use you know make a bow like this and use it that one's kind of small in my opinion but <clears throat> okay then you want to take your big bow and like I said I would suggest if you are stiffening your bows with uh, hairspray or whatever I would do it separately and then put them together Okay, so you just need a little bit of glue in the middle. And then hold it 
down, place it in the middle. And then if you would like to get some string, well, string, whatever, thread, uh, and wrap around the middle just for extra security, you can. Normally I do that, uh, you know, with, with the big bows. I usually don't cut my thread off yet, but I needed it to make the second bow. Anyway, <clears throat> normally I would just do a stitch in the back and then go around the middle, but for the video purposes, I won't do that. Plus, we're going to surround the middle with the 3 8 ribbon. Okay, and that's what your bow looks like so far. Cute little double stack. You can do this, you know, with any kind of ribbon. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be just 4th of July. It can be anything. All right, I have some... 3 8 polka dot ribbon I'm using here. And I'm just going to clip this off. And I'm going to surround my metal part. Start in the back. And at this point, if you want to put your barrette in, like I have and, you know, showed you in the other ones, you can. I'm actually going to put an alligator clip on this one since it's medium size. All right, and I go around the middle. Cut off the excess heat seal. If I can get my lighter to work. All right, <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you another kind of neat trick with the alligator clip. I think it's a neat trick, but anyway, <clears throat> just adjust your loops. All right, and there you go. It's cute, you know, just like that. Perfect size. All right. Um, now, I'm using sort of a larger clip than most. And what I like to do is, um, if you don't want to necessarily line your clip, um, or partially line it, it's you know it's kind of hard just to stick it to the back because that you know you end up gluing it together. So what I like to do is get a piece of three eighths ribbon or this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut it off here. <clears throat> what I like to do is you can heat seal this first side here. And then what I like to do is just clip it on like that. Just have one piece in the middle. Cut off the excess. Heat seal it again. And of course, my flame isn't working with the fan. All right, so you just have this piece in the middle. Okay, and then, <clears throat> and it's not, it, you know, it's not covered all the way or, um, you know, it's basically just sandwiched in between there. Okay, and what I like to do then is just run a strip of glue back here and then put the clip in like that. So basically, you know, you just have that strip of material <clears throat> without wrapping the whole thing. Okay, and see, it, it works fine. You're just kind of gluing that front part down. Okay, and then the final touch here, of course, would be, um, you know, you can put a knot in the middle, you can leave it just like this, um, you know, you can do stars, uh, you know, all the little options, you can put a knot, um, you know, just make sure that if you're doing a cameo or a bottle cap that you use the E6000, you know, with all the little embellishments or whatever and put the felt piece on the back. All right, so then I'm gonna get my glue gun and put a good bit. And I'm using a white bottle cap. And these are actually not uh, bottle caps, like the the paper kind with the epoxy on top. This is actually a one inch button. Um, I started buying those not too long ago because they're just so easy just to plop in the middle like that and they fit 
you know, right in the middle of those bottle caps. Um, <clears throat> and I have oh, some really cute ones, and I can, you know, leave the link for that too. Precious, she has a lot of uh, holiday ones and just, you know, popsicle, you know, a lot of summer type things. Real cute. All right, and this is what we have. Um, you know, you just adjust a little bit, and you know, it's it's simple, but it's also, um, you know, a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more detailed, but it's not real hard to make. Okay. Now, um, before I, I end here, I just wanted to kind of show you a few other things. Um, if you remember the uh, popsicle bow I did, loopy bow I did in the last video, uh, we used 7 8 ribbon. Well, I just wanted to show you the one and a half inch uh, ribbon version of this. You see how large it is? It's huge, but same concept, you know, with the uh, with the loops. And I'm, you know, just kind of I, I did my tails on this one. I kind of actually made them show. You could even uh, line these with rhinestones or whatever. You could put a little, uh, you know, uh, tool puff here or, or feathers or whatever. So anyway, this was just another, uh, and, there, and there's the cameo with the another one of those buttons. Um, but anyway, this is just another version with the the wider width ribbon okay and then the video that everyone well not everyone but I've been asked to show you is uh, oh look at my fan blowing everything everywhere um, this is a funky loopy bow uh, 4th of July style obviously it's got all the fluff and stuff in here um, here's some garland I, I cut off um, decorative garland and then of course the ostrich puff and this was just a little felty of a bomb pop you know I've got my cameo here it's got the ice cream in the, the middle it says American Sweetie um, and this is the tubular crin okay and it's all just kind of sandwiched in between these loops right here and then I have a fiber optic uh, light and of course it you know it, it flashes and then it has the little um, you know, I don't know if you can see it real well but anyway a uh, very detailed bow and to do a tutorial on something like this would take you know a while um, this is not actually the first bow that I um, showed you or p uh, picture I posted on Facebook it, it had some stars on it um, so anyway, I don't know if I'm going to do this exact one or I'm going to do one like the other, but we will see. Um, I might even do a little bit smaller one for time's sake. But it would definitely involve the corkers, um, you know, maybe some tool, whatever. Okay, but I've been asked to, to show you guys how to do this one or something like it. Okay, I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got something out of it that's always important to me even though I don't have music or editing or flashy or whatever I just hope that I've helped someone um, you know learn to do this and get some different ideas you know that's my whole focus here is to get some different bow ideas instead of the same thing over and over but anyway y'all have a good day and thanks for watching